Ever since the first recorded naval battles, war at sea has been marked by some of the most fearsome contests in military history. Naval warfare and naval supremacy has decided the fate of nations, and the power that rules the waves rules the world. Now, Top 10 will test, assess, and grade the most feared and powerful fighting ships in naval history. From mighty battleships to humble sloops, the one that can hit the hardest and fastest wins the battle. But it's not only the ability to give punishment. To claim the title of the greatest fighting ship in history, they have to be able to take it on the chin and give it back with interest. Based on scientific analyses, expert opinion, audience polls, and technical comparison, we've constructed a five-point matrix that will rank the top 10 fighting ships of all time. Coming in at number 10 of the top 10 fighting ships, a ship that was described as the most powerful and invincible battle wagon in the world. Hood class, battle cruiser. Displacement, 42,500 tons. Propulsion, four Brown Curtis geared turbines producing 144,000 horsepower. Speed, 31 knots. Range, 5,170 nautical miles at 18 knots. Protection. Maximum armor, 15 inches. Principal armament, 8 15-inch guns. Crew, 1,418. On May 31, 1916, in an area known as Jutland, off the coast of Denmark, the two most powerful navies in the world went head-to-head -head in one of the great ship battles of the 20th century. Both Britain and Germany suffered huge losses to their fleet, and it seemed that the capital ship's days were numbered. But the British naval brass were not ready to throw in the towel and came up with a radical new design of fighting ship. Its name was to be Hood. The Hood was the uh, first of what was going to be a whole new class of ships being built around the world at the end of World War I, which is a super battle cruiser. A uh, battlecruiser which had the punching power of a battleship truly and still had the high speed and was still fairly well armored. Completed in 1920 and the only one of her class, the Hood at 860 feet long was the largest ship ever to be built for the Royal Navy. With a speed of 31 knots and armed with eight 15 inch guns, Hood represented the new generation of fast fighting ships. One of the reasons that she is a beautiful ship is that you would prefer to have your side armor at an angle. So when a shell comes in, it tries to go through a plated angle. It's more likely to bounce down. And so she's got that nice uh, flared hull form, which we find attractive. The hood has, has nice lines to it. It's like a nice looking car. Maybe hard to pin exactly why, but we know we all know a Ferrari looks good and a Pacer does not. Known as the Mighty Hood, it was considered the greatest warship ever built, and throughout the 1920s and 30s, went on world tours boasting its power and size. Between the wars, the Royal Navy was still the, the premier navy in the world, and it was the premier ship in the premier navy, and if it looks the part and the Hood looked the part, then it, people will believe it's the part. But that boast would soon be shattered when World War II began. Hitler's navy had some of the most modern and sophisticated battleships, while Hood was nearly 20 years old and in desperate need of a refit. On May 24, 1941, the Hood's shortcomings were put to the test when she came up against the German battleship Bismarck and heavy battlecruiser Prinz Eugen. There are a few ships' names in Britain that go down in history. Hood is certainly up there. But actually, when you look at it, in terms of operational expectancy, we, we expected more from Hood than we got. And it really didn't come up and cut the mustard. It was an older design than Bismarck. Bismarck ran rings around it. At a range of 25,000 yards, the ships opened fire. It only took five salvos from Bismarck to pierce the Hood's deck armor and smash the boast of the world's mightiest warship. Within eight minutes, the Hood sank, and out of a crew of 1,418, only three men survived. The big regret is she wasn't rebuilt, didn't have the time and the money to rebuild her. She may have survived the Bismarck, and she may have had a much bigger role. 
Because the hood was sunk in its first battle, the protection rating is low, as is its firepower score. Marked higher is its fear factor and innovation. Its service length of 21 years gets a good score, but not enough to place the hood any higher than 10th place in our top 10 fighting ships.